and welcome back to another update video about this uh, Super Smash Brothers task that a lot of you were interested in um, that I posted last week. So in this video I'm going to just go over um, how I did it, um, the programs that I use, and uh, do some more demonstrations to kind of prove that, yeah, it is a physical task. So I'm going to go over here to my actual rig, where it's a Wiimote that has... Um, leads hardwired to the uh, remote itself and then brought over to the breadboard and then connected to these little black boxes which these right here these are little read relays which um, I can uh, automatically short with this Arduino right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in here I'm trying to do this with one hand it's pretty difficult there we go alright and now I'll put this back here me a second, I'll open up the interface program. Alright. So now, we go over here to my interface program. Hit refresh. COM6 is there. Connect. Menu control. So that now that's actually turned it on. Because um, you know how, like, when you press one button, it'll uh, synchronize, or it'll turn on the Wii. Oh. So now, if I press these buttons, can see how the uh, screen's changing, where um, depending on the button I press, it will make that specific input. So I have a program tab as well, where I can load little programs um, that, for example, passing one, let's do prod, let's change this to process. Now when we run this, It'll do the same thing um, that I showed in my first video, which was the automatic menu, and then select Captain Falcon, and all that. So I'm actually going to stop it here, because uh, you've already seen that. So I'm actually going to change the character um, with menu control, uh, up from Falcon to Zero Suit Samus. And here I'm going to ch uh, show you a... Uh, one of the starts of a task, or starts of a combo that I've been working on. Now, I saw a video a while back about um, a really interesting Samus combo which is involved a lot of down smashing and a, uh, uh, was it, a neutral air, I think? So I started that. I still haven't gotten the B reverse yet, or the down B reverse, or whatever that, um, which one it is. I'll go to, oh wait, no. First off, I forgot to do this last time. Uh, I have to change the profile because the um, the profile B is actually A, like the um, the taunt. So if I try to press B, it'll taunt. So I have to switch that around because it was just easier to solder onto. So let's see. Let's go over to like port air taunt guy. And so now, if I press start and then. Control. And there. So I'll move Fox over here. And so let's see. For example, I'll go back to program. You can see I can change process. I have a zoo suit. Samus 1. Sorry, this is really shaky. I can't record my screen because I can't. Um, my editing software is acting up really badly today. So I'm just going to get this out here. Uh, but now I can click run, and it'll do the uh, first half of the combo. So when I press run, it'll do... Oh, come on. Oh, I know why. Whoops. Let's just... It sometimes has issues with the right button. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So I'm just going to reset it now. Actually, I don't... Yeah, I do need to. So let's bring the box over here. Now let's try this again. It always seems to active every time I try to record this, so try it again. Down smash, right, down smash, down smash, aerial, down smash. And then from here I'll have a um, short hop, then down B reverse, and that'll spike it. But from there, um, that's the first start, or the first combo that I'm working on. And now um, there's another one I'm working on, which is Ganon. Uh, it's not an actual lock combo or a uh, 
a guaranteed combo, but it's just something I was working on to see if I actually could exploit the little training AI. Because some uh, it'll, it will change be, uh, based on your position, what, you're, what it thinks you're going to do. So that's actually not what I'm going to change this one to Yoshi. I'll change myself to Ganon. Alright, now... Uh, Battlefield, because that's where I originally programmed it on. And now, we've got everything hooked up correctly, and I changed the code to Ganon1. And one. It should do combo. Let's see. Yep. Alright, go. Oops. There we go. It's a stop. Now go. Reverse. And then Foxtrot. Reverse and up smash. So it doesn't do much for the moment being. I figured out how to do dual inputs based on um, pushing and activating relays and stuff. So um, my next goal is to figure out um, how to get a spreadsheet kind of thing, um, where I know a lot of task programs will have a spreadsheet where it'll you can select whatever button you want activated per frame. Now the issue with that is on the computer I use integers for example like um, one frame for me uh, on the computer is 16.6 .6 milliseconds so, so I would use 16 or 17 based on um, previous integers because rounding and uh, because there's uh, 60 frames per one second on the Wii U however there's 1000 milliseconds per one second on the computer so we need to figure out the correct ratio and if possible correct it so I can just have one frame for one frame instead of some off ratio but um, that's all what I have right, uh, right now I've been working on it too much but I plan on ramping it up figuring it out and once I get um, some more features um, I might release a video how to, on how to hack a, Wii, a Wiimote to do this and how to um, or uh, how to use the program so I might make it open source and uh, at least public soon but uh, for now I think that's it and I will see you in the next video.